Hello everybody, I'm the Yellow Doggy. And welcome, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to one of y'all's, f apparently one of y'all's most favorite series so far, the AMAs. And uh, yeah, I decided to do one of these on, you know, my five year anniversary, you know, uh, you know, because why not? You know, we got to have some of the old, some of the new, some of the some of this is just hot today I have I, am, I don't know why I do this I'm not doing this for all of them this time I have five I have five let's hope we don't have any absolute shitters the ones that don't know how anonymous works question one out of any of the wrestling shows which one is your favorite of all time easy <laughs> Wrestlemania 24 not only was it the first one that I like, like watched. Let me uh, first one I remember watching because it, like, like I remember watching uh, WrestleMania seventeen and nineteen on old VHS tapes, and I absolutely loved it. I mean, you know, I was a little, I was younger, and uh, you know, I just forgot a lot of it. But WrestleMania twenty four will always be my favorite like show. Start off with Fit Fit, not Fit Finley. He wasn't fit back then. Well, he was fit. But <clears throat> Finley and JBL Belfast Brawl. That Finley should maybe have won that with the way the story was going. But JBL and Finley put on a fucking banger. And then the Money to Bank, CM Punk, Chris Jericho, Shell, Benjamin, Shadow BD, Carlito, MVP. I feel like I'm going to... Mr. Kennedy was also in there. Yes. It was great. Uh, John Morrison hit the moonsault with the ladder into the crowd. Even though I, I'm sick of the crowd dies. That will always be one of my favorite. Uh, Carlito and I think it was Mr. Kennedy just absolutely body shelton with the ladder spot. Uh, Edge and Undertaker fucking killed that. I'm going out of chronological order because I can't remember it. Orton, CM Punk. Not Orton, CM. Yeah, Undertaker and Edge. That was like one of my favorite. That, that was like one of my favorite Edge matches. Uh, and then uh, Orton, Cena, and Triple H absolutely killed it. The setting was great. It was, I think, it was in Florida. Uh, it, yeah, it was in Orlando. They had the the fucking. They had uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, singing over it. Oh, it was just great. They had my favorite wrestling match of all time happen on there, which doesn't help the fact that it's my favorite. Uh, pay-per-view with uh, Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair, the retirement match. I'm sorry. I love you, super kick. Oh, my God. Just an amazing, amazing show. I don't know. Wait. I might be not remembering at all, but I don't even believe, like, the tag titles or a U.S. title was defended because Chris Jericho had the IC at the time going into Money in the Bank. But either way, that 10 out of... Even if it's not now, like I, I, I haven't like rewatched it in so long, but even j just from nostalgia factor, ten out of ten, fucking loved it. Question two. Body count. Okay, no, uh, specifically, if we're talking about just sex. Three. Wait. Three. Yeah, three. Because I've gotten freaky a lot, you know, with... Uh, but I'm only six to three. Why are you staring at my face? Question three. Personality or looks? Both. Because I haven't showed her off on the channel a lot just because she's real camera shy. But my girl looks great. Which made me want to approach her. And then her personality just shines like a star on the darkest day. Because, you know, it's, it, it's like a thing. Like, yeah, it... A lot of people get to know somebody and then they start dating, but like when it comes to dating for me, 
it, it's just weird. Because a lot of my, I didn't have a lot of ugly, ugly friends. It's all about perspective. But like, if I had to choose one, like if I had a default woman that I know was going to be loyal and with me forever, for sure personality. I don't give a fuck what your, what your face, tits, and ass looks like if you can't hold a fucking five-minute conversation. Like, I'm a talker. I like to talk. Yeah, sex is great. That's cool. But, you know, I, I like to sit down, talk, you know, just do stuff with somebody. That's what it means to be in love. It's to share experiences with somebody else that you really care about. But, you know, and then when it comes, if someone looks too good, other you got to fight. You just got to fight other dudes. And baby got a nice ass. Bitch, what? Bam. But, yeah. So, it kind of was both. Because, you know, a lot of people don't go up when you're... It dep- and it also depends on if you've known the person or not. I didn't know my lady. Thought she was attractive. I, actually, that's how we started. Um, uh, uh, I commented on uh, one of her stories on Instagram. Hey, you're cute. And then it just snowballed from you're cute to talk into crush stage to relationship. And almost three year anniversary coming up. But, you know, if, if if you don't know somebody and you don't want to date someone in your friend group, being honest with ourselves, you're not just going to walk up to the ugly person. Ugly, because it, it's perspective. It, it's like music. There is no wrong answer to what you like. Just depending on how you go about it, looks can be a bonus, or personality could be the bonus. I'm fixing my hair because why not? Question four. What do you know W A T apostrophe D you do for your birthday? What the fuck did I do for my birthday last year? Did I do anything for my birthday last year? My my fr- uh, Dalton or somebody, Lucas, uh, uh, any one of my friends, comment if I actually did something for my birthday. I can't believe I don't remember that. The year before, I went paintballing, spent way to fuck too much money. Or was that? Th- no, that was two. That was two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Next question. The Grand Frenale. Question five. Who's your last snap from? Uh, I don't actually remember off the top of my head. And, you know, slow Wi-Fi is going to take eight years. I actually just got one. It's from Lucas. Haha, <laughs> no shot. What did you say? What did you just ask me, Lucas? He sent me smile. Damn it, I've turned the brightness up so I can fucking read. Smile face. Joke me like you hate me, but you love me low key. Wanna date me when you fuck me? Touch me with the lights off and my chains on. Baby, I'm not the right one. You should wait up. Now I just got one from Dalton. Y'all just have to just ride my dick. No, that's personal conversation. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you've been enjoying these five videos. It's probably, you know, getting lost in the shuffle. But either way, I have fun doing this, and I love you guys. I've been a yellow donkey. You've been my yellow bros and yellow sisters, and I shall see you guys next time you click on one of my new and or old videos. Peace. Too sweet. <laughs>
Dur 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 d